Now let's talk a little about the algebra of complex number and the first thing we're going to learn is addition of complex number, right? So uh, how do you add two or more than two complex number? Let me give you an example. Let's say I have a complex number, let's say uh, Z1 equals to, let's say, 3 plus uh, 4i, all right? And I have another complex number, let's say Z2, that is minus 9 plus 6i. All right, this iota. Okay, so how do I add this Z1 plus Z2? It's very simple. The addition of complex number is just like uh, in the real number system. But here, while adding, we have to keep in mind that we have to add only a real part with the real part and imaginary part with the imaginary part. That's it. This, this is only the simple, uh, simple concept, all right? Uh, I mean, if we have now, let's say, 3 plus 4 right here. This is our Z1, all right? And uh, let me write uh, Z2, another complex number, minus 9 plus 6i. So the real parts and the imaginary part must be added. So the real part should be added with the real part. That's it. All right. So it is 3 minus 9 and then plus. Similarly, imaginary part should be added with imaginary part. So it is 4 plus 6 i all right so 3 minus 9 that's going to be minus 6 and 4 plus 6 that is 10 i some people even write i before it means here they used to write so it does not matter all right both is uh, the same way so this is the very simple uh, way to add the two complex number all right uh, in 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 in, uh, in alphabet format if you want to learn let's say z1 equals to a plus ib you write here or bi you write that same thing all right and j2 equals to let's say c plus di or id let's say i times d i is the iota here so j1 plus j2 is simply a plus c that is that is real part with the real part all right real part with the real part and then plus imaginary part with the imaginary part here b and d is the imaginary part so it will be uh, uh, the addition of b and d will be together all right keep in mind that b and d will be added together okay i remember if you have uh, i mean three or more than three then also we will follow the same process and uh, one thing i want to tell you after addition of the two complex number here uh, z1 plus z2 you did let's say that's that's equals to z3 so here z3 will also be a complex number keep in mind that all right so addition of the two complex number results another complex uh, complex number all right uh, my handwriting is so bad and the next thing you need to understand is addition of two complex number follow the commutative law i mean z1 plus z2 is exactly equal with z2 plus z1 all right uh, for example i mean uh, i mean to show you uh, Let's say it's 3 plus 2i is uh, z1 and z2 is uh, let's say 1 plus 2i. So z1 plus z2 is 3 plus 1, you know, this and this together. And plus 2 plus 2, that is 4 directly, you can write uh, 2 plus 2i. So it's 4 plus 4i. And if you do z2 plus z1 also you'll get the same you know z2 that's 1 plus this 3 and again 2 plus 2 that same thing 2 plus 2 i so again you get 4 plus 4 i so whatever you do both are equal you know so it follows the commutative law you need to keep in mind that and the next thing addition of the uh, two complex number follow the associative law also uh, like z1 plus z2 plus z3 is same like z1 plus z2 plus z3 all right so first you add first and second term and then add third term is exactly same as uh, adding in the first term the sum of uh, the second and third all right i mean to say this follow the associative law and one more thing i want to tell you uh, about the additive identity all right additive identity and some people also say as a uh, zero complex number right zero complex number and we denote zero complex number by zero which is equals to zero plus 
i times 0 that's it and next thing uh, 0 plus any number you know 0 plus any uh, complex number is the same number all right you can say add additive identity it is uh, wherever you add this 0 complex number you will get the same same complex number okay and the last thing you should know is existence of uh, additive inverse all right existence existence of uh, additive inverse additive inverse uh, let's say you have a complex number let's say z equals to a plus ib then there we there exists an additive inverse of this z which is minus of z and that's equals to minus a plus i times minus b so here z and this uh, minus z these both are called uh, these these two are called you know additive inverse of each other or you can say j1 and this is j2 so here j1 and j2 are additive inverse of each other uh, this is a little bit about the addition of two or more than two complex number i hope you understand how to add the two complex number and uh, if there is any more confusion or any doubts to ask me then please feel free to comment below this video i will definitely get back to you and in next video we will be learning about the subtraction of the complex number how do we subtract and then we will be keep on learning multiplication of the complex number division of complex number and so on all right i will see you in the next part